afternoon. Welcome to the Mango Park Motel. Please tell me that you have a room. Room 4A. I would like to schedule a wake-up call for 5.30 a.m. I'll schedule a wake-up call. I know, right? The wake-up call did not come. Ma'am, I am truly sorry that your wake-up call was not delivered, but I have to charge you for the room. Well, I'm not paying. Yes, and uh, I am being extorted for money. Hi. Oh, good afternoon. Welcome to the Mango Park Motel. How may I help you? Well, please tell me that you have a room. Uh, we should have a few rooms. Let me double check. Um, yes, you're in luck. Yeah, we have several rooms available. Oh, wonderful. I mean, I've been driving all around town. I mean, every hotel, motel, they're all, they're all booked up. Yes, there's a convention at the hotel next door, and the, the boat show is this weekend. So we've got a lot of visitors in the yeah, area. Yeah, no, it's, it's that boat show that I'm in town for. I've got my eye on a, on a new open fisherman, and I am going to try to purchase it as a birthday gift for my husband. Wow, that's an amazing gift. That's quite generous of you. <laughs> yes, it is, but truth be told, I'll be using his gold card. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, um, do you happen to have a room with a king-size bed? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. We have two doubles and a single queen. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, oh, just a minute. Um, we have a cancellation. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, we have a king suite available. And since it's a last minute cancellation, I can charge you for a regular room. Great, 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 great. Thank you, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Okay, all right. Uh, okay, and uh, here you are, room 4A. 4A, okay. <laughs> Do you it. need help with your bag? No, no, this is all I have. Um, so I think I'm good that way. Okay, enjoy your stay. Oh, wait a minute, there is one more thing. I would like to schedule a wake up call for 5.30 a.m. Oh, that's early. <laughs> well, yeah, no, it is early. Um, there's a couple other people that got their eyes on that boat, and I don't want to be late, and I tend to sleep through my phone alarm, so. Okay, that, not a problem. I'll schedule a wake-up call for 5.30 a.m. for room 4A. <laughs> Enjoy your stay at the Mango Park Motel, Mrs. Temple. Well, yeah, it's uh, no Four Seasons, but it'll, it'll have to do for tonight. Mrs. Temple? No, it's not a good morning. It's a terrible morning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, may I ask what happened? Oh, yeah, like you don't know. I'm sorry, I have no idea. Are you all right? No, I'm not all right. The wake-up call did not come. So I slept through the morning. And that boat that I wanted to buy as a surprise for my husband was sold by the time I got to the dock. Oh no. Oh, yes. And it's all your fault. It, my fault? I beg your pardon, ma'am. I put in your wake-up call for 5.30 a.m. just as you requested. Well, the wake-up call didn't come. Well, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry for the confusion. I don't know why it wasn't delivered. I don't know what happened. Of, of course, of course you don't know, right? Right, right. Will you be checking out or, or would you like to extend your stay for another night? Oh no, then you're even dumber than you look because no, there is no circumstances under which that I would like to stay another night in this rat hole. There is no reason for you to insult me, Oh, now. well, I've just begun to insult you. I mean, this is actually me being cordial. So, you'll be checking out then, I assume. Yeah, yeah, I want to get out of this dump <coughs> as soon as possible. So, should we use the card we have on file then? Oh, 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 hold on, you're not planning on charging me the full amount. You're only being charged for the regular room rate. Um, it's half the price of the suite you stayed in. Right, but because of your callous actions. 
because of the services that you agreed to provide that you did not provide. Well, quite frankly, I don't think that I should have to pay anything. Ma'am, I am truly sorry that your wake-up call was not delivered, but I have to charge you for the room. Well, well I'm not paying. I, I, I'd like to speak to the manager, please. I am the manager. Of course you are. Well, that's why this place is so well run. So, should I use the card we have on file then? What part of I'm not paying are you not understanding? There is no reason for you to yell at me, ma'am. Oh, oh, I'm really not yelling, but I should. I'm going to. I'll, ch I'll only charge you half the regular room rate. That's only $50, okay? Okay, no, no, I, I, I'm, I'm done with you. All right, I, I'm gonna call the police. This is extortion, and I'm gonna get somebody down here to handle this. I don't think that's necessary. Whatever. Yes, hi, my name is Heidi, and I'm at the Mango Park Motel. Yes, and uh, I am being extorted for money by the manager here, and I would need some help. Can somebody please come down here? I don't think this is necessary. What are you doing? Yep, that's right. Right, West Orange Avenue, Mango Park Motel. Can you please hurry? Things are a little tense here. Okay, very good. All right, thank you. Bye. Well, there you have it. You're in trouble now, because the police are on their way. Hello, good morning. Good morning. We got a report on an extortion attempt, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Um, I'm the one who called, and thank you for getting here so quickly, officer. This uh, manager here bamboozled me into staying in this god-awful motel, and now she's trying to extort extra money from me. That is a lie. She's refusing to pay for her room. All right, well, we'll get to the bottom of this in a second. Ma'am, what's her name? My name is Mary Levinson, and I am the manager of this motel. And you like to say for the record that this lady here has not paid for her stay. Yes, officer, that is correct. Okay. Ma'am, what's your name? Well, that's really none of your business. I mean, it's a little bit my business. My name is Heidi. Are, are, are you satisfied? Okay. You look familiar. Have we met before? No. No, I don't think so. You know, I'm terrible with names, but the face I don't forget. Now, we definitely met before. Well, I'm a very important woman in this town, so you may have uh, seen me around. Uh, I'm just in this motel for convenience, but that's neither here nor there. You're, you've been brought here, please, to arrest this woman for overcharging me. So, how exactly is she extorting money from you? Well, she's a crook. I mean, she stated one rate on the room and then she tried to charge me double. That is a total lie. I gave her a huge discount on a king suite. And now she is refusing to pay. All because she didn't receive her wake-up call. Wait. Wait, please don't tell me this is all because of a wake-up call. Yes, officer, I'm afraid so. Ma'am, is this true? No, this is absolutely ridiculous, officer. I mean, who are you going to believe, her or me? Is that a trick question or...? Look, officer, look at, look at the computer. Check for yourself. It clearly states what time she checked in and what we're charging her. It's plain as day, look. All right, so what am I looking at here? Right there. It says Heidi Temple, room 4A. We gave her a huge discount on a king suite. Plus I offered to cut the rate in half, but she still refused to pay. 
If you had done your job correctly, then none of this would be happening. None of it. Temple? You're that crazy lady who poured coffee on me a few months ago when I try and give you the traffic citation. No, 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 no. You, you must have me confused with somebody else. I mean, that doesn't sound like anything that I would do. Ha, that sounds exactly like something you would do. Okay, so this is what's gonna happen. Either A, you're going to pay for your stay here, or B, you're gonna be leaving in custody. Well, I'm not giving her a dime. She ruined my entire day and my husband's birthday. All right, from where I'm standing, she did nothing wrong. And quite honestly, this has been a huge waste of my time. But just do the right thing and just pay her. Well, it's not gonna happen, buddy. It's not gonna happen. Miss Temple, your inflated ego and sense of retirement is truly astonishing. This is your last warning. Please put her. All right, Miss Temple, you are under arrest for a false support of a crime. You have the right to remain silent. Everything you say you can and will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand? Yeah, you just do what you got to do. But I'm telling you, officer, I'm. You're going down. Man, when my husband hears about this, man, I will have your badge. Yeah, I, I, you literally said it last time, I know. Thank you, officer. Goodbye, Mrs. Temple. And please tell your husband I say happy birthday. <gasps>